Are you thinking about upgrading your planner for 2021? Hi everyone, I'm Chad Colby. I'm in Pontiac, Illinois at the Precision Planning Institute. I had an opportunity to talk to Jason Webster. I wanted to get his opinion on what he's learned so far in his 400 acre test farm where he's trying everything to push the limits of corn and soybean yield here in central Illinois. Newest things we've got on the planter is our new closing system called Furrow Force on the planter. And one of the things we always do every year is we flag test. So as soon as that corn we plant, you know, 110 heat units later, that corn's just poking up through the ground and we're right there to flag it to monitor how long it takes to, for all the plants to get up out of the ground. And one of the, the neatest things I think that really opened my eyes this year was we've got a, a closing system now that's allowing us to get all of our plants up within 12 hours of each other. We used to think 24 hours was fantastic and here we're cutting it in half. What does that really mean? Well. Now we've got consistent closing, that seed to soil contact and putting that seed in perfect moisture and packed with seed just perfectly so it's all coming up at the same time and that's going to give us a consistent ear and more ears to harvest. Um, it's going to give us more yield. Last year we were seeing a nine and a half bushel yield increase and we were wondering why are we getting that. Now I think we're getting a real good look why. In conclusion, let's talk a little bit about the facility. If you've came down 55 here in the last six months, there's a little bit more here than a tent. You know, we're building a new facility here, almost a 20,000 square foot facility where we can do our agronomic training. You know, we've got 400 acres now, we gotta have somewhere to dry the grain and store the grain, so we're bringing some GSI equipment in. Well, we'll be able to showcase that technology. And I like the idea, you know, here we are in August, talking about agronomy going into fields, but what about after harvest? After guys have, have dried their crop and stored it and looking at some of the, maybe the problems they have with their grain mm -hmm. systems or maybe the what ifs, you know, here's what I want. They can come in and see the new system we're putting in. It may be somewhat smaller than maybe some large farmers are going to put in, but it'll be very similar in technology and then they can try it. And I, I like that, the experiencing the technology, using it before you buy it. Uh, that, that, that means a lot for farmers. So let me ask you this, you know, a grower in Nebraska watching the show this week, if he sees this information, where can he go to, to learn about some of the research and the trials that you've been working on the last several years? Is there a place online or a resource for that? Yep, two places. You can go online, precisionplanning.com, and, and you'll see the PTI link. You can see it all right there. Um, Inside PTI is another way. It's an online video series. You can go to insidepti.com, sign up. Uh, for these free videos that come out two a week. We're out here all the time doing these videos and just showing guys what we're learning. And then lastly, I guess there's a third option, they could go to their local premier precision planning dealer. They've got all of our yield data. They can share it with, with each grower. I'll tell you what, I am probably like you. I'm pretty excited to see some of the uh, yield results. You gotta be looking forward to that. Yeah, you know, I love having all the trials on the farm. It is a little bit overwhelming trying to put all the data together and kind of figure out, okay, what was the story? What actually happened here? Why is there a yield result of this or a, a profitability or net loss of this? Putting the whole objective and conclusion together, but that, that's part of it. And that's what farmers have to deal with every single year on their own farm anyway. I don't know about you, but it's certainly great to see those opportunities to get a great return on investment with technology. It won't be too long, believe it or not, before we start talking about planning in 2021. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.